So when we think about transport today, there is a lot of frustration that many people consider normal. If you try to get from Pasadena to El Segundo during heavy traffic, it can feel like you are wasting half your day. It is almost as if you could take a flight to another city in the same amount of time, and yet you still have to sit in your car crawling slowly forward. For Elon Musk, this reality is exactly the reason why the future of driving has to evolve from being supervised to being completely unsupervised. He imagines a future where you can get into your car, fall asleep comfortably, and wake up safely at your destination without stress or fatigue. That vision takes its first real step with full self-driving version 14, often referred to as FSD 14, which is a system nearly 10 times more powerful and far smoother than any version that came before it. But here is the secret that Elon Musk never openly said, FSD 14 was not really designed to remain on older Model 3 or Model Y cars. Instead, it was always intended to shine inside a new, far more affordable vehicle. That vehicle is the Tesla Model 2. With FSD 14 as the core soul of its design, the Tesla Model 2 is being created as the first car costing under $10,000 to carry the world's most advanced driving technology. When you hear that FSD 14 is ready, it is also a hidden signal that the long-awaited Tesla Model 2 is close to becoming reality. Before diving deep into everything Elon Musk has not told the public about this plan, make sure you subscribe to Torque Elements so together we can reach 2,000 subscribers, and also turn on the notification bell so you never miss the next big Tesla update. What makes the hardware of the Tesla Model 2 such a generational leap is important to understand. Even though Elon rarely talks about it, the Tesla Model 2 is widely expected to launch with Hardware 5, the newest generation of Tesla's self-driving computer. Built on Samsung's most advanced 5 nanometer process, Hardware 5 includes 32GB of RAM and 512GB of storage, which is a huge improvement compared to Hardware 4 that only had 16GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Depending on the situation, Hardware 5 is between 5 and 10 times more capable than Hardware 4. Independent research estimates that Hardware 5 can process about 1,000 trillion operations every single second, while Hardware 4 could only reach around 200 trillion. Tesla is also quietly preparing Hardware 6, which could be nearly 10 times stronger again, with a peak power draw of 1,500 watts. The Model 2 is being designed in a way that will allow it to upgrade to this next generation when the time is right, making it future-proof for many years. One crucial part of Hardware 5 is the B-pillar camera. These cameras are positioned between the front and rear doors, acting like eyes for blind spot detection and lane change awareness. In Hardware 5, the resolution has been increased to around 8 megapixels, which is a big jump over Hardware 4's 5.4 megapixel sensors. Engineers say there are also upgrades such as better low-light sensitivity, improved thermal management, and even active defogging systems. Service manuals show that these Hardware 5 cameras require cryptographic firmware verification after replacement, which proves Tesla is making them more secure and integrated than ever before. Including the full B-pillar camera system in the Model 2 means that even a budget-friendly Tesla will deliver premium levels of safety when navigating dense city traffic. The front camera also gets a major leap in clarity. Hardware 5 upgrades it to nearly 4K ultra-high definition at a resolution of 3840 by 2600 pixels, compared to Hardware 4 which only had about 2896 by 1876 pixels. This adds up to nearly twice as many pixels, combined with a 30 frames per second recording rate across multiple channels. With this higher quality video, Tesla's neural networks gain the detailed information they need to recognize faint lane markings, distant traffic lights, or small objects even in poor lighting. For everyday drivers, this translates into safer night driving, smoother engagement of full self-driving, and fewer disengagements where older hardware might struggle. Electrically, the Model 2 is switching to a 48-volt system paired with Tesla's structural aluminum-ion battery pack. Traditional cars rely on 12-volt wiring, which means they need four times the current to deliver the same power. By moving to 48 volts, resistance losses drop by a factor of 16, allowing Tesla to use thinner, lighter wiring that produces less heat. This reduces cost and simplifies long-term maintenance. The structural aluminum-ion battery pack is designed in a way where the cells themselves are part of the car's chassis, making the overall body more rigid and reducing the number of metal parts needed. Aluminum-ion cells are a breakthrough technology. They can charge up to 60 times faster than normal lithium-ion cells, they offer higher energy density for the same volume, and they are less likely to overheat. They also use aluminum, which is abundant, instead of scarce and expensive materials like cobalt or nickel. 
this helps reduce costs and improves sustainability. For the Model 2, this new battery system is the foundation that makes it possible to achieve a price below $10,000 without sacrificing range, durability, or charging speed. Now ask yourself, which upgrade do you think is the most important for the Model 2? Is it the 8 megapixel cameras, the hardware 5 computer, or the aluminum ion battery pack? Each of these plays a role, but together they redefine what an affordable car can be. Another reason why the Model 2 stands out is because of FSD 14. This version is not just a simple upgrade. Reports say that its neural network scale to roughly 10 times the parameter count of the previous version, which allows it to take in more video detail and more context all at once, and then make smoother, more human-like driving decisions. For the driver of a Model 2, this means cleaner merges, steadier lane keeping, and fewer awkward stops at difficult intersections. Elon Musk even described this version as feeling alive because of how naturally it handles. It also reduces unnecessary prompts asking drivers to pay attention, only reserving them for truly complex situations. For a budget car like the Model 2, this calmer interface is what turns advanced software into something that regular people can use without feeling intimidated. Fewer alerts and smoother handovers make long commutes less tiring and help build trust in the automation. Tesla is also adding voice intelligence inside the cabin, making it part of the experience rather than an optional feature. With XAI's Grow system, Drivers can interact with the car through simple conversation for tasks like navigation, information, or everyday help. For Model 2 owners, this means the infotainment system becomes much easier to use, avoiding the need to tap through menus. The Tesla mobile app is being updated as well to match the improvements in the car's sensors. Version 4.480 of the app adds B-Pillar dashcam viewer support, letting owners review footage directly from the side pillar cameras on their phones. For Model 2 owners, this turns the car into a practical security tool against parking accidents, side impacts, or intersection close calls. Release notes confirm that this feature is fully supported by Hardware 5, making it a seamless addition. Tesla has also upgraded the roadside assistance system in the app. Now, if you report something like a flat tire, the app captures detailed location information and automatically streamlines the dispatch process. Combined with Tesla's built-in roadside coverage for tire replacement and towing, this creates a smoother, less stressful experience for everyday owners. These refinements may not sound dramatic, but over time they reduce costs, remove stress, and provide peace of mind. Durability is another area where the Tesla Model 2 shines even though Elon rarely talks about it. To make the car affordable yet tough, Tesla uses hot-stamped boron steel, a material known for extreme strength and crash protection. Boron steel can reach tensile strengths over 1200 megapascals nearly double what mild steel can handle. By placing this material in key areas such as the A and B pillars, the roof rails and the rocker panels, Tesla ensures that crash energy is absorbed and directed away from passengers. Because boron steel is stronger per unit thickness, less material is needed overall, keeping costs manageable. Tesla also pays attention to the way the body is structured. The Model 2 is being designed with closed section rails, box sills, and continuous load pads that channel crash energy safely around the passenger area. Structural adhesives are applied along seams to increase stiffness, spread forces evenly, and act as sealants against water and salt. This reduces the risk of rust over time. Fewer seams also mean fewer weak points where corrosion could begin. The surface of the car is treated with smart coatings and materials to resist wear. Galvanized steel covered with zinc or zinc aluminum coatings can resist rust even if paint chips occur. A full e-coat dip process ensures that the entire body, including hidden cavities, gets a thin protective layer. Extra cavity wax is applied in areas most exposed to road salt. For everyday wear, Tesla uses plastic cladding around the wheel arches and lower doors to absorb scuffs, while slightly thicker panels protect areas prone to dings. Repairability is another silent part of durability. Tesla is designing the Model 2 with bolt-on modules for the front and rear, easily replaceable fenders and bumper covers, and standardized fasteners across the car. If a small accident happens instead of fixing multiple welded panels, a technician can simply swap a module. This saves time, reduces insurance costs, and keeps repair bills lower. When you combine all of these choices, you get a car that feels solid for many years. The doors stay aligned, the paint chips less, the cabin remains quiet, and insurance and maintenance remain affordable. Most importantly, the car keeps its value because it still feels strong even after years of use. Tesla also has a clear production strategy for the Model 2. Trial production is expected in late 2025, 
with a full launch in 2026. This timing lines up with FSD 14 reaching full maturity, so the first cars will already have refined software. Instead of building an entirely new plant, Tesla plans to adapt its existing Model 3 and Model Y lines to produce the Model 2. Because of Tesla's flexible manufacturing systems and its new unboxed process, body parts can be assembled separately and then brought together, saving time and money. The production will also be global from day one. Tesla will build the Model 2 in Texas, Berlin and Mexico, with each plant supplying its own region. This avoids the long delays that happened with the Model 3, when one factory had to supply the entire world. Producing in multiple locations means shorter delivery times, lower shipping costs, and more stable prices across markets. Price is where Tesla plans to shock everyone. Analysts expect the Model 2 will cost between $9,800 and $12,000 after incentives, making it the cheapest Tesla ever. This price undercuts not only other electric cars but also many traditional gas cars. By using the aluminum-ion structural battery pack, the 48-volt electrical system, and simplified production, Tesla can achieve this without giving up durability or performance. The truth is that Elon Musk has never said outright that the Tesla Model 2 is more than just an affordable car, but that is exactly what it is. It is a blueprint for mass market autonomy. With durability, advanced hardware and full self-driving at its core, this is the car that will make the future of transport real for millions of people. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to keep uncovering what Elon Musk does not always say on stage, then please subscribe to Torque Element, hit the bell icon, and join us as we track every move Tesla makes.